Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here at Pragmatic Works. Today, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to build a percent of total calculation using DAX and then also how to do it with just a couple of clicks in Power BI without any DAX at all. And then we're going to talk about what the difference is between the two. So stay tuned. Generally, when I'm building a percent of total calculation, I use DAX, and this is the way that I teach it in my boot camps and when I'm doing VMs with customers, I build out the custom DAX calculation that I want to use for that purpose. However, the question comes up very often, Mitchell, how is this different than the percent of grand total? So I want to show you very briefly and very quickly how to build out a percent of total calculation and then I want to show you the built-in capability and there is a difference and I'm going to show you exactly what that is. So our goal in this video is very simple. I want to be able to compare the United States right here to the total for all the countries, right? So get a percentage. Is it 20%, 30%, 40%? What is it? And I want to have it right there next to it on the same row. Well, in order to do that, we know that we need to modify the filter context. There is a filter on this report. The filter is on the country. You can see it here. This filter is affecting the result of that total sales measure. And that total sales measure is nothing more than the sum of sales amount from the sales table within the current filter context. Now, what I'm going to do and what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build a new measure. And I'll build that measure on my internet sales table. And I'm just going to call this one percent of total sales. Technically, this is percent of total sales for countries, but I'm going to keep it simple for the sake of not having a very long measure name. And I'm going to create a variable here. And the variable is going to capture for us the total sales amount for all countries because I need to divide the United States by the total for all countries. So we're going to capture that first. So the variable that I want to create, well, we'll just call it total sales all countries right and then I will tell it that I want to calculate the total sales measure for all countries sales territory country right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and format this real quick because I like to format my code make it easy to read again what this is going to do and we'll look at it real quick is this is going to return total sales for all countries very simple, very straightforward. I'm done defining my variable, so I'm going to say return. And then so that we can validate our code, we're going to go ahead and return that variable just very quickly to verify it's giving me what I want. And what I expect to see is 29,358,000. So we'll hit enter. We'll go over here and grab that measure and drop it right there in my report. And perfect. It is giving me exactly what I expected. All right, now there is this blank showing up that just simply because there is now a value, that member within that column now shows up where it was auto hidden before. We could fix that if we needed to, but we're not going to be displaying this anyway, so it's naturally going to go away. So we won't worry about that in this video. If you want to know how to fix that, though, if you get that problem a lot, that's an easy YouTube video. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely put that together. Now, I wanted to show you one more thing, one more thing you might be familiar with something else. You might be familiar with something called remove filters. If remove filters makes more sense to you, you can use remove filters here instead of all. And in this situation right here, it is going to give you the exact same behavior. I prefer the all function personally. It's what I've used for years and years before remove filters is even a thing. Um, and there are some differences in where you can use them later on that I've run into. But for here, it works fine. So either one is 100% okay. So we're going to do that. I'm actually going to switch it back to all just to keep it consistent. But I hit enter, you saw nothing change. Now, the final piece here to get this percent of total is simply a division calculation. We're going to divide the numerator by the denominator, right? So we come in and we say divide, and then we're going to say total sales. That total sales is the sum of sales amount from my sales table within the active filters that are being applied in the data model within the current filter context. So we'll do that. And I'll hit enter. Now I do want to format this obviously as a percentage so it looks a little bit more relevant here. But 
at first glance, this appears to pass the eye test, right? These numbers look correct. So you can get out your calculator, take that number of sales, that dollar amount for the United States, divide it by 29 million, and you're going to come up with 31.98%. All right, this is simple. This is easy stuff, right? But why did we even have to write a DAX calculation? Did you know that inside of Power BI, there's actually ability to get the same kind of the same functionality by just clicking a couple of buttons? Well, there is. Let's take a look at that next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the total sales measure and I'm actually going to put it in this table again, okay? Now, when I put it in the table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here and I'm going to click on this little drop down, and then I'm going to tell it that I want to show value as and I'm going to tell it that I want to show value as the percent of grand total, percent of grand total. And I'm going to hit that, right? So you see I have my percent of total sales measure, and then I have my percent of total sales. All right, when I come back over here, you're going to notice that it looks exactly the same. And this is a question that does come up quite often when I'm in my DAX boot camp or I'm teaching a DAX workshop, and we're going through calculate function and changing filter context, and we get to the percent of total, people are like, wait a minute, why do we have to do that? There's this. So here is what I want to show you here. Sometimes when you use things like show value as or quick measures, there's nothing wrong with those things, but you might not understand how they're going to behave when other filters are added to your report. So for example, if I come up here and choose a couple of these countries like Canada, France, and Germany, you're going to notice that the difference between the two is now pretty significant the total sales or the percent of total sales calculation that we built a moment ago, that calculation is based off of 29,358,000 in sales. It, remember, it ignored all filters. We use the all function and the all function says remove all filters that are applied to the country column. Remove them all. So what it's telling me is that uh, Germany here is 9% of the total of all countries. Now, obviously, you can see what's going on over here. This is saying that of the three countries that are in this report, Germany is 38.51%. So here is the grand question. Which one is correct? Well, the obvious answer is they're both correct. It depends on what you want, right? It depends on what you're going for. I think they're both awesome and they both give great functionality. But here's the thing. We don't actually need to use the percent of grand total because we could write a measure. We could write a calculated DAX measure that actually gives us those same exact results. And in that measure, we know exactly what it's doing. And if we ever need to add any other filters or change any other filter context, we have the capability to do it because we own that measure. Not to mention, we can use that measure in multiple different places within our report with the same naming convention, the same formatting and we're not worried about any of that. So what I'm going to do is another video where I talk about how to modify our percent of total sales measure to give you the exact same functionality that you see right here with the percent of grand total. That is it. I just want to take a moment to thank you again for joining us here at Pragmatic Works. If you haven't already, make sure to hit like and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever we have new videos on our channel. And like always, we'll see you next time.